All right, I got my little helper here, my little brother. He's gonna be my uh, cameraman. Show the box on the floor. All right, we got another box in now, guys. Just gotta work. And get this opened up. It's from Q Logic. Um, ever since I saw Steve's video back a while when he got his uh, Q Logic kick panel, I wanted them, and um, I finally found them for. A reasonable price, 160 bucks for the pair, so it wasn't too bad. To get this package and out of here. Um, I got them right on eBay, and they're exactly uh, what I wanted. So we got this kick panel right here. It's for a six and a half inch mid, and uh, it's color matched to the interior. They have a, a color chart on uh, eBay that you can select from and uh, even if you're not sure which color you might have because there might be a lot of colors the same um, they have a little diagram which year comes with what color and uh, that's how I figured out what mine was because there was two gray colors to choose from so we got this one right here and we got the driver side right here with a little cutout for the uh, hood release, which uh, I don't have anymore since I got robbed. I moved my hood release somewhere else. So, we got these two right there. And uh, now the next step is to get some mids for these bad boys. I haven't ordered any yet. I'm gonna take a look at the bank account, see what's going on with that. And hopefully we can get that soon. Alright, here's a little shot of the kick panel down, installed with no speakers yet. As you can see, the other two sets of Audio Q 6.5s. So that's going to make for three sets on each side, which I think is going to sound really clean and uh, actually bring this truck up to above average around here and actually uh, kind of wow people a little bit, hopefully, with the sound and the way it looks. So it looks really clean. It's a perfect match to the interior colors and it was only $160 so you can't go wrong. And uh, before I put it in, I went ahead and uh, put some sound deadener on the back of the kick panel. Um, Got to go what the big dogs are doing and uh, as when Mead put his kick panels in, this is what he did to his. So if he's doing it, it's got to be something right. So. We'll get this kick panel put up in there and hopefully get a set of uh, six and a half ordered real soon and we'll have that video up. And uh, this set of mids and highs is going to be wired to the head unit seeing as all the channels are taken up on the audio cue. So maybe in the future I'll get one more set and uh, one more amp and we'll have uh, two four channel amps running all these mids and highs. But for now this set's going to be to the radio. And the two sets that are in each door are going to the amp. Peace! One more thing. Here's the driver side uh, kick panel. It says in the directions to take a wrench and bend the e-brake cable. But uh, I never actually see it check to see if it would hit. So, Alright, yeah. So all you gotta do is just bend it about a quarter of an inch. And, it'll, and it will swing right by the uh, kick panel so it's not much at all so I'll probably do that at work I'll just stick a monkey wrench on that thing bend it over a little bit and uh, you won't even notice a difference Digital. Yeah. Man, what's going here? Uh, well, the camera's both of you. I got my friends right here too. Uh, 